The Bronx High School of Science, commonly called Bronx Science or Science, and formerly Science High, is an elite public high school in New York City. It is one of nine specialized public high schools located in New York City and operated by the New York City Department of Education. Bronx Science is considered one of the most prestigious and selective high schools in the United States. Admission to Bronx Science involves passing the specialized high school's admissions test. Each November, about 30,000 8th and 9th graders take the three-hour test for admittance to eight of the nine specialized high schools. The test is extremely competitive, with only 900 of the 30,000 applicants being accepted to Bronx Science each year. Founded in 1938 in the Bronx in New York City, Bronx Science is now situated in an educational area known as the Educational Mile in Bedford Park, a neighborhood in the northwest portion of the Bronx. The exam administered to students in the eighth grade was reportedly taken by more than 20,000 students every year as of 1999. Although known for its focus on mathematics and science, Bronx Science also emphasizes the humanities and social sciences and continually attracts students with a wide variety of interests beyond math and science. Bronx Science is ranked among the top 50 high schools in the country as well as among the top few in New York State. Eight former students have received the Nobel Prize in Science, more than any other secondary school in the world. Topic. Name The Bronx High School of Science is often referred to as Bronx Science, and rarely just science. It was formerly called Science High and its founder, Morris Meister, is said to have frequently called the school simply as the High School of Science. Students are rarely called Sciencites. History Founding. Bronx Science was founded in 1938 as a specialized science and math high school for boys, by resolution of the Board of Education of the City of New York, with Morris Meister as the first principal of the school. They were given use of an antiquated Gothic gargoyled edifice located at Creston Avenue and 184th Street, in the Fordham Road Grand Concourse area of the Bronx. The building, built in 1918 for Evander Childs High School, had been successively occupied by Walton High School 1930 and by an annex of DeWitt Clinton High School 1935. The initial faculty were composed in part by a contingent from Stuyvesant High School. Principal Meister put his imprint on the school from its formation, for example selecting as school colors green to represent chlorophyll and gold the sun, both of which are essential to the chain of life. Topic. Expansion to co-education Bronx Science started with about 150 ninth year students and 250 tenth year students, the remaining facilities of the building being used by DeWitt Clinton. As more boys began to attend science, the Clinton contingent was gradually returned to its own main building. During their joint occupation, which lasted for two years until 1940, the two schools had separate teaching staff and classes, but the same supervision and administration. In 1946, as a result of the efforts of Meister, the faculty, and the Parents Association, the school became co-ed, giving girls of New York equal opportunity to pursue a quality education in a specialized high school, previously denied to them. This expansion to co-education preceded its rivals Stuyvesant 1969 and Brooklyn Tech 1972 by more than two decades. 
In 1958, after 20 years as principal of the school, Morris Meister resigned to become the first president of the newly organized Bronx Community College. Mr. Meister personally selected a teacher, Alexander Taffel, to succeed him as principal. Topic. Move to modern facilities From the beginning, the Parents Association and Principal Morris Meister campaigned for a new building. After 20 years, but under Principal Taffel, plans were finally completed for a new $8 million building, designed by the architectural firm of Emery Roth & Sons. The new building would be on 205th Street near Bedford Park Boulevard, in a predominantly institutional area, between DeWitt Clinton High School and its large football field on one side, and Harris Field and Hunter College, now Lehman College on the other. On March 3, 1959, students and faculty occupied the new building for the first time, solving the problem of how to move the books from the old library to the new in typical Bronx science manner. On Friday afternoon each student took home five library books from the old building, and on Monday returned them to the new one. They entered a school equipped with modern classrooms, laboratories, and technical studio areas. The main lobby entrance featured a 63-foot Venetian glass mosaic mural overhead, depicting major figures from the history of science such as Marie Curie and Charles Darwin under the protective hands of a god-like figure representing knowledge, with this quote from John Dewey, "...every great advance in science has issued from a new audacity of imagination." The mural is an original work by Frank J. Riley entitled Humanities Protecting Biology, Physics, Chemistry, Legions of Students Over the Years, bemoaning the lack of swimming facilities, have sarcastically referred to the mural as the science swimming pool, perpetuating the idea, perhaps apocryphal, that a choice was made to fund a mural rather than a pool in the new building, the move was not without incident. In the first spring of the move, rumors swept the school that various Bronx Youth Street gangs were coming to the school, and that the Fordham Baldies would shave the hair of science students. This never happened. Another incident did happen that spring, the first time science girls appeared on the outdoor physical education field in gym clothes. Some students from the neighboring, all-male DeWitt Clinton High School charged the separation fence between their field and the science field. The fence held, but the female students exercised indoors for the remainder of that year. When Bronx Science celebrated its silver anniversary in June 1963, President John F. Kennedy hailed it as a significant and pathfinding example of a special program devoted to the development of the student gifted in science and mathematics. The president had recently selected one of its graduates, Harold Brown, of the class of 1943, for the position of Director of Defense Research and Engineering. He would later serve as Secretary of Defense under President Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Recent administration When Alexander Taffel retired as principal in 1978, the chairman of the Biological Science Department, Milton Kopelman, became principal. He remained so for over ten years. Upon Principal Kopelman's retirement in 1990, longtime faculty member and biology assistant principal Vincent Galasso became principal. He was followed by Physical Science Department Assistant Principal Stanley Blumenstein, a 1963 graduate of Bronx Science. In 2000, William Stark, an Assistant Principal of the Social Studies Department, was appointed Acting Principal. He was expected to move up to the Principal's office, when Chancellor Harold O. Levy decided to try to find a Nobel Laureate to become Principal. However, when that effort failed, Stark was still not offered the job as principal. 
Stark said that if he wasn't officially offered the job by a certain date, he would take another position being offered to him elsewhere. When the deadline came and went, Stark accepted a job as principal of Manhasset High School. Many faculty and parents were upset that Stark was not appointed in a timely way and thus had left the school. Vincent Galasso agreed to an interim appointment for one term in 2001. After Levy's unsuccessful attempt to appoint a Nobel laureate, Valerie J. Reedy, assistant principal of the biology department, was appointed principal in September 2001. She was the first female principal in the school's history. Reedy has been a controversial figure, and several teachers left the school in response to her becoming principal. Some teachers have openly criticized her to newspapers and some students staged protests in 2005 and 2008. There was also a substantial exodus of social studies teachers at the end of the 2010-2011 term, reportedly due to problems with the administration. Reedy announced her resignation in June 2013. In September 2013, Jean Donahue was named interim principal of the school. Donahue is an alumna of the school, class of 1977, the parent of an alumna, and a longtime faculty member at the school. Donahue has since been instated as the principal. Topic. Enrollment Topic Entrance Examination Bronx Science has a student body of about 3,000 students. Admission is based exclusively on an entrance examination, known as the Specialized High Schools Admissions Test SHSAT, open to all 8th and 9th grade New York City students. The test covers math word problems and computation and verbal reading comprehension, and editing skills. In 1999, there were 20,000 students taking the entrance exam, increasing to approximately 30,000 students in 2011. During the 2011 round of tests, 19,587 students listed Bronx Science as a choice on their application, and about 1,044 applicants were offered spots at the school. Topic. Student body Although the student body comprises almost every ethnic group in New York City, about 63% of Bronx Science's student population is Asian as of 2015. White, Black, and Hispanic students represent 22%, 3%, and 6% of the school's student population respectively. The ratio of female to male students, as of 2015, is approximately 1 to 1.25. Topic: <laughs> Facilities and resources. Computerized and renovated science laboratories, including the Syracuse University at Bronx Science Crime Lab and the DNA Research Lab. Computer laboratories Weather station Rooftop planetarium Two rooftop greenhouses Rooftop solar array – A rooftop solar panel installation was completed in February 2006. The 33.6 kW DC photovoltaic PV arrays consist of 168 sharp solar 200 W DC PV modules laminated to power lights flat roof power guard mounting system and utilizes a Xantrex PV302830 kW AC 3 phase inverter. Integration with the school's computer network allows students to monitor the solar panel's production of electricity in real time, while saving on the school's energy cost. A screen just off the main lobby displays production data at every moment. High-speed internet access in every room. 
website with a .edu top-level domain, one of a few obtained by high schools before the rules changed in October 2001 restricting .edu to post-secondary schools. In addition, students have their own email addresses. Televisions equipped with DVD, VHS players in every room. Advanced Library Resources – The Bronx Science Library provides resources ranging from traditional print and microform to electronic subscription e-journals and databases. Located on the first floor just off the main lobby, the library is composed of three smaller rooms encompassing approximately 65,000 square feet 6, square meters with a seating capacity of 100. Holdings include over 30,000 volumes, 135 different magazines, microforms including the New York Times on microfilm dating back to 1851 and readers, and computers in the computer room. Among its electronic resources is ScienceDirect, a free science journal service provided by Elsevier to a select few science high schools. It is used by students as a gateway to first-hand experience with published scientific research. Foreign Language Multimedia Learning Center Distance Learning Lab Animal Room Harris Field, a 15-acre field across 205th Street where many Bronx science sports teams practice. Topic Holocaust Museum and Studies Center In 1978, Stuart S. Alenko, a social studies faculty member, founded a Holocaust Museum and Studies Center at Bronx Science, funded by grants, donations, and the New York City Council, in order to teach students about tolerance. The museum, located in the school's library, was one of the first of its kind in the United States, and houses a collection of rare documents, photographs, artifacts, and other material from the Nazi era. The Studies Center sponsors speakers and puts together and distributes educational materials about the Holocaust. The museum has had over 60,000 visitors. In 2004 an anonymous alumnus of the school made a very large donation to the museum. In 2006, the museum moved out of its original home into a larger space, although plans were made for the museum to be renovated. In April 2013, after more than a decade, Bronx Science completed the expensive job of rebuilding the newly redesigned museum which now sits in the basement of the school. Costing over $1 million thanks to several grants and numerous donations from alumni, including $150,000 from the City Council. Over $500,000 of those expenses directed to the museum's construction. The museum is one of the rarest of its kind, being located in an American public high school. Home to over 1,000 collected artifacts, the museum is housed in a 1,000-square-foot room, which sports an aggregation of artifacts tucked in pull-out drawers and positioned beneath glass displays, along with their respective captions. Bronx Science offers a Holocaust leadership class offered to sophomores and upperclassmen, which allows the students in this class to serve as the tour guides of the Holocaust Museum and Studies Center. <laughs> <laughs> Academics Bronx Science students take a college preparatory curriculum that includes four years of lab science, math, English, social studies, two or three years of foreign language and a year of fine arts, with required courses and a wide selection of electives, including advanced placement AP classes, which allow students to place out of introductory college science courses. Over 160 distinct courses are offered. Students have an opportunity to do independent research, and many compete in the annual Intel Science Talent Search formerly sponsored by Westinghouse. In the biological sciences, the students have the additional option of taking a special double honors 
biology course, which features extra laboratory exposure. Science electives include microbiology, physiology, forensic science, human genetics, evolution, astronomy, organic chemistry, electronics and others. The mathematics department offers the standard AP courses in AB, BC Calculus and Statistics, courses in multivariable calculus and computer science, including AP Computer Science AA course in Linear Algebra and Differential Equations was offered for the first time in fall 2007. Students take four years of English, with electives including Honors Creative Writing, Exploring Science Fiction, Journalism Workshop, and AP English. Four years of social studies or history classes are required, and include U.S. and world history, economics, with electives in psychology, law, finance, and global studies, among others. Three years of languages are required. Bronx Science offers French, Spanish, Latin, Italian, Modern Greek, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. At one time Hebrew, Russian, and German were also offered. Students in their sophomore year are required to take either applied science or a class to satisfy the sophomore research requirement. Classes that satisfy the sophomore research requirement include Introduction to Engineering, Social Science Research, Biology, Physical Science Research, and Math Research. Students have the option of continuing their research in their junior and senior years, which gives them the opportunity to work with mentors and submit their final research paper to prestigious competitions such as the Intel Science Talent Search. Students must also obtain credits from two terms of a class in the fine arts or the equivalent. The fine arts requirement is usually satisfied during Bronx Sciences summer program which offers drama, music, and art. Students usually double up on two of these courses to satisfy the fine arts requirement for once and all during the time period of one summer. However, it is possible to satisfy the fine arts requirement by taking a music elective such as jazz band or an arts elective such as AP Studio Art during the regular school year. Health and physical education courses are also required, with activities including step aerobics, weight training, basketball, skating, team handball, fitness, and yoga. Topic representative electives Representative electives include, English, Journalism Workshop, Yearbook Journalism Workshop, Bronx Science Forensics Debate Team offered to officers of Bronx Sciences Speech and Debate Team Social Studies, Holocaust Leadership Class, Social Science Research Projects Mathematics, Math Research, Calculus, Statistics and Data Analysis, Math Team offered separately for freshmen through seniors, multivariable calculus and partial differential equations, linear algebra and differential equations, game programming, robotics, robotics project management, app development biological sciences, post-AP biology, genetics, post-AP psychology, microbiology, nutritional science, forensic science, animal behavior, sustainable Bronx science, term 1, and horticulture, term 2, epidemiology, Exercise Physiology, Marine Biology Physical Sciences, Physical Science Research, Introduction to Engineering, Digital Engineering, Post-AP Chemistry, Quantitative Analysis, Post-AP Physics, Introduction to Modern Physics, Astronomy and Astrophysics, Introduction to Organic Chemistry, Experimental Engineering Foreign Language, Spanish for Professions, Spanish Narrative and Film, Advanced Fourth Year Conversation, French, Japanese, Chinese, Italian, Spanish, Advanced Fourth Year Latin Selected Readings, Honors Modern Greek Language and Literature, College Level Greek, Intensive Modern Greek for Beginners, Intermediate Honors Modern Greek for Beginners, Classics in Translation, Korean Technology, Applied Science, Computer Technology, Computer Graphics, Architectural Drafting The Arts, Basic Acting, Improvisation and Performance 
performance, advanced acting, play production, studio in art, photography, studio in drawing and design, studio in painting, introduction to music, digital music lab, concert band, jazz band, intermediate band, orchestra, chorus health and physical education, basketball, baseball, volleyball, aerobatics, wiffle ball, gymnastics, yoga, weight training, fitness, flag football, soccer, ultimate frisbee, hockey, team handball. Topic. Advanced placement courses Bronx Science offers all of the AP courses, except for AP German Language and Culture. The courses include English, AP English Literature and Composition, AP English Language and Composition Social Sciences, AP U.S. History, AP European History, AP World History 2 years, AP U.S. Government and Politics, AP Microeconomics, AP Macroeconomics, AP Micro, Macroeconomics, AP Comparative Government and Politics, AP Human Geography Mathematics, AP Calculus AB, AP Calculus BC, AP Statistics, AP Computer Science Science, AP Biology, AP Environmental Science, AP Psychology, AP Chemistry, AP Physics 1 and 2 without Calculus, AP Physics C with Calculus Language, AP Spanish Language, AP Spanish Literature, AP French Language and Culture, AP Italian Language and Culture, AP Latin Caesar and Virgil, AP Chinese Language and Culture, AP Japanese Language and Culture Arts, AP Studio Art, AP Art History, AP Music Theory. Topic. School publications There are several school publications, some produced by students, others produced by individual departments. The Science Survey is Bronx Science's entirely student-run newspaper. Students manage everything, reporting, layout, design, editing, and final production, under the supervision of the journalism advisor. The paper is printed using funds from its advertisers, with no fiscal school support. The paper is distributed on average five times per year at no charge. The Science Survey has been the name of the Bronx Science Student Newspaper since the founding of the school in 1938. Dynamo is the literary magazine sponsored by the English department, consisting of original poems and stories submitted by students from all grades. The Observatory is Bronx Science's prize-winning yearbook. The yearbook office has a custom-built web server to manage its production, powered by MediaWiki and Coppermine software. The Biology Department sponsors two publications. Bionic the Biology News and Information Center is an annual web publication featuring biology-related events at Bronx Science, student-written articles, opportunities, and links to helpful and interactive pages. Biology Journal, a joint venture between students and faculty, documents advances in the field within the school and in the outside world. Each themed issue contains interviews, commentaries, artwork, featured student research papers, and abstracts from every student biology research project that year. Other department-produced publications include the annual Math Bulletin, consisting of student term papers, original student mathematics research, and topics in mathematics, exposition, an annual production of the Social Studies Department, and reactions, written by physical science students. Topic. Student life Topic. Events An events calendar is maintained on the school's website. 
Earth Day Festival, hosted annually by the Leap Club on Earth Day Day of Silence, an annual event to educate students about the difficulties faced by the gay, lesbian, and transgender community winter and spring concerts, features performances from science's bands and chorus poem in your pocket day Holocaust Remembrance Assembly, held annually on Yom HaShoah Black Organization of Student Strength, West Indian Society Cultural Assembly, produced by Boss, Wiss Lunar New Year, produced by the Lunar New Year Productions Club Spring Musical Unidad, produced by Unidad International Food Fair, Multicultural Day Music Festival Homecoming Day, on the day before Thanksgiving, graduates from the previous year return to campus Junior Prom Senior Prom Nasha Cultural Assembly, Annual Indian, Pakistani, and Bengali Cultural Show Harris Field Day, celebrated by seniors prior to the start of summer vacation. Topic. Extracurricular activities Topic. Sports The school boasts both boys and girls teams for basketball, bowling, cross-country, fencing, golf, gymnastics, handball, track, soccer, swimming, tennis, and volleyball. The baseball, basketball, softball, and volleyball teams compete on both the varsity and junior varsity levels. The cricket team is co-ed. Bronx Science also has a girls varsity flag football team, a boys varsity wrestling team, a girls varsity lacrosse team, and a boys varsity lacrosse team. Science has collected multiple city championships in recent years, including boys handball in 2010, boys cross country in 2011, girls soccer in 2012, and co-ed wrestling in 2016 and 2017. Topic. Academic teams Speech and Debate Team, founded in 1969 by debate coach Richard B. Sotokow, the team has been prominent and successful. With the creation of the Lincoln-Douglas debates in 1979 came the creation of the Bronx Science LD squad which has had national success. David Yalif won the national championship in 1984, and two years later, He Sun Hong received the first ever tournament of champions title in Lincoln Douglas debate. In 1988, Jonathan Koppel and Peter Colavito closed out the final round of the tournament of champions. The speech and student congress portions of the team have also won numerous awards. A small sample, in 1996 and 1997 Carrie Hodges won the New York State Forensic League Championship in Dramatic Interpretation, an award also won in 1992 by Maggie Siff. Rachel Haber and Benji Unger took home the state championship in Declamation in 2001 and 2002. Kayan Clark and Sheezy Chu were state champions in original oratory in 1997 and 2002. Patrick Woods won the state championship in Student Congress in 1998. Bronx Science debaters have amassed many titles in major competitions, including Emory University's Barclay Forum for High Schools, the Harvard National Invitational, the Lexington Winter Classic, Hendrick Hudson, T.A. Edison, University of Southern California, Villiger, the Northeast Regional Championships, the Newark Debates, the Westchester Classic, the Robert J. Kaiser Invitational, the Scarsdale Jeffrey Williams Lincoln Douglas Debate Championship, Woodward Academy Novice Nationals, Woodward Academy Second Year Nationals, the MBA Round Robin, the Bronx Round Robin, the Glenbrooks Round Robin, and the National Debate Coaches Association and DCA National Championship. Currently, the Bronx High School of Science is ranked number 38 nationwide for speech and debate. Science Olympiad team competes in annual Science Olympiad competition. Ocean Sciences Bowl team competes in the National Ocean Sciences Bowl competition. 
Moot Court team competes in the New York City Bar Association's Moot Court competition. Mock Trial Team Robotics Team, the Bronx Science Cyborgs first team 1155 compete annually in the first robotics competition. The team is a collaboration between students and mentors to design, fund, and construct a winning robot. Winners, 2010 New York City Regional Finalists Winners, 2009 Connecticut Regional Winner, Winners, 2009 New York City Regional Finalists, Winners, 2009 New York City Regional, Rockwell Automation and Innovation in Control Award Winners, 2007 New York City Regional Chairman's Award, Winners, 2007 New Jersey Regional Finalists Winners, 2006 New York City Engineering Inspiration Award Winners, 2005 New York City Kleiner, Perkins, Cofield, and Byers Entrepreneurship Award Winners, 2004 New York City Delphi Driving Tomorrow Award All Girls Robotics Team, The Bronx Science All Girls Femaidens First Team 2265 competes annually in the first robotics competition. This team was created by the Bronx Science Cyborgs in 2007 as an effort to advance women in engineering. Winners, 2010 New York City Regional, Winner, Winners, 2010 New York City Regional, Engineering Inspiration Award, Winners, 2010 New Jersey Regional, Imagery Award Winners, 2009 Connecticut Regional, Best Website Winners, 2008 New York City Regional, Website Excellence Award Winners, 2007 New York City Regional, Rookie All-Star Award Topic. Clubs and teams Topic. Faculty The Bronx Science faculty includes educators with advanced degrees, including PhDs, and many have taught at universities. Unlike in most New York City public schools, teachers are not hired according to seniority. Instead, they are interviewed and reviewed by a committee of current teachers from the department. Some teachers are also alumni of the school. Many teachers also play an active role in the advancement of the school's vision. For example, Fanny K. Enover, Ph.D., a former teacher in the Physical Science Department and adjunct assistant professor at Columbia University, was responsible for securing a $27,500 grant in both 2004 and 2005 for developing and modifying the Bronx Science Chemistry Laboratory curriculum, in order to make sessions less cookbook and more inquiry-based. Topic. Reputation Bronx Science has received international recognition as one of the best high schools in the United States, public or private, regularly ranking in the top 100 in U.S. News and World Report's lists of America's gold medal high schools. In 2014, they ranked 34th out of all high schools nationwide and second in New York State. Nationwide, Bronx Science ranked 33rd in 2008 and 58th in 2009. It attracts an intellectually gifted blend of culturally, ethnically, and economically diverse students from New York City. As of 2012, Bronx Science is ranked as one of the 22 top performing schools in America on the Washington Post as well as number 50 out of a list of the best 1,000 high schools in the country on the Daily Beast's America's Best High Schools list. In 2014 it was ranked second highest on Cities Journal's list of the 15 best high schools in New York along with Stuyvesant ranked third and Brooklyn Tech ranked eighth. The average SAT score in 2012 was 2010 out of 2,400. 
almost all Bronx science graduates continue on to four-year colleges, and it is a feeder school, with many graduates going on to attend schools in the Ivy League and other institutions each year. Bronx Science has counted 132 finalists in the Intel formerly Westinghouse Science Talent Search, the largest number of any high school. Eight graduates have won Nobel Prizes, more than any other secondary education institution in the United States, and six have won Pulitzer Prizes. Of the eight Nobel Prizes earned by Bronx Science graduates, seven of them are in physics, which earned Bronx Science a designation by the American Physical Society as an historic physics site. In 2010, Bronx Science is a member of the National Consortium of Secondary STEM Schools NCSSS. Together with Stuyvesant High School and Brooklyn Technical High School, it is one of three original specialized science high schools operated by the New York City Department of Education. Transportation. The New York City Subway's Bedford Park Boulevard B &D trains and Bedford Park Boulevard Lehman College four train stations are located nearby. Additionally, New York City buses BX-10, BX-22, BX-26 and BX-28 routes stop near Bronx Science. New York City Bus also operated the X-32 Express route between the school and Queens until the route's elimination in June 2010. Students residing a certain distance from the school are provided full fare or half-fare student metrocards for public transportation. A paid, private school bus service is also offered to students. Topic. Notable alumni Topic. Nobel Prize winners The Bronx High School of Science counts eight Nobel Prize winners among its graduates, seven in physics and one in chemistry. Leon N. Cooper, 47, Brown University, awarded the 1972 Nobel Prize in Physics. Sheldon L. Glashow, 50, Boston University, awarded the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics. Steven Weinberg, 50, University of Texas at Austin, awarded the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics. Melvin Schwartz, 49, Columbia University, awarded the 1988 Nobel Prize in Physics. Russell A. Hulse, 66, Princeton University, awarded the 1993 Nobel Prize in Physics. H. David Pulitzer, 66, California Institute of Technology, awarded the 2004 Nobel Prize in Physics. Roy J. Glauber, 41, Harvard University, awarded the 2005 Nobel Prize in Physics. Robert J. Lefkowitz, 59, Duke University, awarded the 2012 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. No other high school in the United States has as many alumni who have won Nobel Prizes. If Bronx Science were a country, it would be tied at 23rd with Spain for number of Nobel laureates as of May 2017. Were Bronx Science a university, it would be tied for 58th place for number of Nobel laureates, matching University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and University of Maryland. Topic: Pulitzer Prize winners. Bronx Science also has six Pulitzer Prize-winning graduates, and a seventh is the editor of a newspaper that was awarded. William Sherman, 63, reporter at the New York Daily News, awarded 1974. William Sapphire, 47, author and columnist at the New York Times, awarded 1978. 
Joseph Lielevild, 54, executive editor at the New York Times, awarded 1986. Bernard L. Stein, 59, editor emeritus of the Riverdale Press, current editor of Hunts Point Express, awarded 1998. William Taubman, 58, professor of political science at Amherst College, awarded 2004. Jean Weingarten, 68, reporter and columnist for the Washington Post, awarded twice in 2008 and 2010. Howard Saltz, 78, editor of the South Florida Sun Sentinel, the newspaper was awarded in 2013. Topic: <laughs> Additional alumni honors. Six alumni have won the National Medal of Science, the nation's highest scientific honor bestowed by the U.S. President and thus far awarded to 425 scientists and engineers. Bronx Science also counts among its graduates 29 current members of the United States National Academy of Sciences NAS, an honor attained by only about 2,000 American scientists. 22 Bronx Science graduates are current members of the United States National Academy of Engineering nay, 10 are current members of the Institute of Medicine IOM, and at least one is a current member of the Royal Society of Canada. Two are MacArthur Fellows, Harold Bloom and Majora Carter, who is also Peabody Award winner for excellence in broadcast. Other award-winning alumni include journalist Mark Boal, who was honored with the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for The Hurt Locker 2009. <laughs> Notes <laughs>